I'm Melissa Smith and welcome to our ninth episode of Titan TV News. We are the Pembroke School News Program bringing you school and community updates once a month. Starting this month, new episodes will air the last Monday of each month and continue throughout the week at 5 and 9 p.m. I hope you were able to catch our episode preview last week where we went through our district announcements and previewed our episode. For our first story, Titan TV's Matt Krecke and Violet Krause attended the auditions for solo and ensemble concert. They spoke with some of the participants to find out about the popular event. So the solo and ensemble concert here at Pembroke High School gives the uh, students an opportunity to create their own performing groups, uh, be it a duo or a trio, or if they prefer, they can do a solo piece, as the name implies, solo or ensemble concert. Um, and it's great. There's no real uh, involvement by the faculty other than the audition process and maybe a few suggestions here and there. I've been doing music for all my life, and I stuck with it because it was my favorite thing to do, and I couldn't stop in the car just singing randomly. I've been doing music since the fourth grade, uh, playing flute in the band, and uh, when I came into the high school, I started doing choir uh, due to Mr. Shepard's recommendation, and uh, I fell in love with singing immediately, and uh, I couldn't stop if I tried. I've been doing music since around second grade when I started playing piano, and I kept going because I just, I love it. It's just my passion. I have also been doing music since second grade when I started piano, and it is also my passion. <laughs> Emily stole my answer, but um, I always keep doing music because of the people who are involved in music. I mean, it's the music itself that keeps me going, but it's really the community of people who are so talented that I just love spending time with. The students uh, arrange their own groups, they pick their own music, they rehearse it themselves, and then they come and perform it. It's just a great opportunity, um, and I think a realistic one too, to be able to come up with your own ideas for performance without being told what to do by an instructor. So it's just a great opportunity for the students and it's a great showcase for all the talent and the depth of talent and the diversity uh, of musical ability that we have at, uh, here at Pembroke. Brennan Duane approached me about doing a song for Solo Ensemble. Um, he said that it would be an Irish song and uh, that he needed a voice like mine and I was like Whenever, wherever, I'll do it. Uh, so we're doing Red is the Rose by uh, the High Kings. It's a wonderful song. We're auditioning just with Tonal Eclipse. We're doing Kiss the Girl from The Little Mermaid. Um, we haven't been a group for very long, so this is, it sounds really good, and this is really all that we've had time to prepare for this audition. We're just so excited to have any chance to perform with Tonal, especially since we're seniors. We just really got the group going and now we have to leave. So we're looking forward to solo and ensemble. I am singing slash playing Elton John. Sorry, seems to be the hardest word. And it's because I love Elton John and he's the greatest piano player ever. To prepare for our audition, we got the group together um, once a week. We were just planning on auditioning anyways. We had this song already prepared, so they knew it was coming. Well, I first looked up uh, the sheet music for it, and then I learned the chords and the intro and the interludes and stuff. Every week, me, Quinn, Frank, and Brendan would meet up in the music hallway, and uh, we'd sing through it. We'd talk about what we did wrong, what we could do better. We kept working at it, kept kind of chipping little bits off until we created, hopefully, a masterpiece. April is home to some unusual holidays, so Matt Krecke took to the halls to find out just how much students knew about these random holidays. Dylan, it's April. April is home to some very strange holidays, including your birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Alright, so, um... April 5th is National Deep Dish Pizza Day. Which city in the United States is famous for its deep dish pizza? Chicago. I think Chicago. It is Chicago. Good job. Uh, um, New York? That's Chicago. 
Good job. I'm gonna say Chicago. You would be correct in assuming it's Chicago. And just for fun, what what's your favorite kind of pizza? Bacon pizza. Bacon pizza. Okay, that doesn't microwave very well. It doesn't. It's it's the only pizza that has to be fresh, be good. Meat lovers. I'm with you there, bro. Regular New York style. Buffalo chicken. And um, April 15th is National Titanic Remembrance Day. What year did the Titanic sink? 1912. Good job. And may I say one more thing? There was room on the door for two. You were being selfish. He's talking about you, Rose. In what year did the Titanic sink? I believe it was 1912. Hmm. 19... 23. 1912. Good job. 1912? Uh, April 26th is National Pretzel Day. What country um, does the pretzel originate from? England. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> Germany. Very good. I want to say Germany, but I'm, I'm not. Yeah, Germany. So April 30th is Bugs Bunny Day. Can you name five Looney Tunes? No, but I can try. Actually, no, I can't try. <laughs> give, give it a shot. Daffy the Duck? Uh, the Hunter? Is, it, is he one? Hunting Wabbits. <laughs> Tasmanian Devil? Wiley Coyote? I can get. All right, so that that's like three and a half. So I'm gonna give you another chance here. If you can do your best Bugs Bunny impression, I'll give you the point. I'll take the three and a half. Okay, thank you. God, a Wiley Wiley Coyote, the Roadrunner, um, Bugs Bunny, <laughs> um, uh, Yosemite Sam, and. Uh, Peppy Le Pew. Okay, good. Those were five. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. Um, Woodstock and the, the Hunting Pig. The Wabbits one, and that's all I got. Alright, so I'm going to give you like three and a half there. You can get the whole point, like the whole five. If you give me your best Bugs Bunny impression. Hey, what's up, Doc? All right, there we go, all five right now. Uh, Bugs Bunny, Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, Tweety Bird, and I'm just gonna have to stop there. All right, so since you only got two of them, I'm gonna have to ask you to do your best Bugs Bunny impression for a full five points. I don't know what he sounds like. Did you have a childhood? Yeah. Okay, just checking. April 27th is National Tell Us Story Day. So can, can you just tell like a weird story? One day, a rainy Tuesday, I looked out the window and saw a cat. It was walking. It only had three legs, but it knew it was gonna be all right. I looked to the left, there was another cat it had five legs, but they talked for a little bit, and the cat with five legs, he shared his extra leg, and they both lived happily ever after, both with four legs. That was, that was beautiful. It wasn't weird at all, it was, it was just beautiful. Thank you. You gonna publish that? I should. Do it. How about just the day my brother was born? One day I was in freshman in high school and I went into honors bio and Mrs. Fitch yelled at me and it was very traumatic and I got scared and I went home and did homework <laughs> once upon a time we're allowed to wear hats in Pembroke High School the end Ooh. for PSN this month Sean Natalian caught up with the baseball team and asked some hard-hitting questions about the upcoming season
Welcome to Titans TV. I'm Sean Talian here with varsity baseball uh, coach Robert Flynn. Uh, the weather's been pretty bad lately. Uh, what has your team done to prepare for games? Uh, to be honest with you, we've been inside, outside, inside, and a uh, period of days off. Um, just because the, the the weather has played havoc on us. However, um, you know we came out of the shoot game one, and uh, we got a, a quality performance by Christian Nashawati and great defense throughout the uh, afternoon, and we were able to get the first game of the season under our belt with a win. Drew Caradano was a big loss for the team uh, this year as far as pitching. Um, how does the pitching lineup look this year for the team? Uh, the pitching, uh, we have Christian Ashwati coming in as um, I projected our one man. And, of course, opening day, you know, he did what a one does. Uh, he won. Uh, we're going to filter through some... Um, some returning players, uh, Sean Latalian is going to take the um, take the mound for us this year. Zach Simpson will take the mound for us this year, and we'll, we'll be we'll be competitive. And if they throw strikes, we're going to be um, we're going to be a pretty uh, tough club to, to play with. As a coach, um, what do you think the most important part of the game is as far as uh, winning games? Limiting your mistakes. Uh, are you going to miss the seniors when the season's over? Absolutely. Uh, some of the seniors here, you know, Christian, um, Sean Latalian, Brian Diacetis, um, Sean I've had for four years, and Christian and Brian I've had for three years. So, so they've been around for um, quite some time with me. Also, they've been with me, you know, um, I coached the JV hockey team and helped with the varsity hockey team. Uh, Brian and, and Sean have been with me for, you know, four years of that as well. Christian I have throughout the summer for summer baseball. So it's just not a, a three-month stint with these guys. I've been with these guys for a long period of time throughout their high school career. I'm joined now with senior uh, Christian Nashawati. Um, what do you do to motivate your teams for practices and games? Uh, well, we got a sw small squad. We only got 12 guys. So us seniors, me, you, and Brian, we just kind of lead by example, be loud, get the team going. What do you think is the most important part of the game that produces wins? Uh, just minimizing the areas, really. Just being better than the other team. As a senior, what are you going to miss most about baseball? Uh, just being with the team, coming down here every day and hanging out with them. Thanks for your time, Christian. Any days. That does it for our ninth episode of Titan TV News. Just a reminder, if you're interested in watching previous episodes or any other programming, subscribe to our YouTube channel by searching Pembroke Titan TV. You can also get up-to-date previews and additional information from our Twitter account, at Pembroke Titan TV. And if you have any questions or would like to find out more information, please visit www.pactv.org. Titan TV meets after school every Thursday in the Titan TV studio on the third floor of the high school. I'm Melissa Smith, and thank you for watching Titan TV News. We'll see you next time.